Yeah, so I am going to do a review of Star Trek Voyager Full Circle, um, which is a very interesting book. And before I can even comment on the content, I have to tell you about the book itself. Uh, first of all, it feels like two different books in one, and it is kind of scattered. Um, I like that it's crafted differently than any other book I've read, but it's also a little bit confusing. Um, I would say there's the dates um, on a lot of the, especially the second half, that you that I really needed um, to pay attention to because I got a little mixed up, and I think I really got mixed up because um, they were kind of going back and forth. And um, another thing about the writing is that sometimes, a couple of times, they've said, well, you know, the admiral said um, he was going to propose this. And then the other admiral was in shock or whatever, but they didn't exactly say what this is. And so I thought I was missing things, but I think the author just wanted me to, wanted the reader to pay attention. So, yeah, it's written very, very differently. I, I you know, that's just... A portion of how it's written differently and I really do like that it's crafted differently um, books can be kind of boring where it's just set up the same way um, now I guess this is a little bit of a spoiler kind of uh, but a main character dies and normally um, when that happens there's a big buildup and then either there's a calm or there's more chaotic things going on here uh, there is no buildup. They simply announce it and then they go on from there about how it's affected other characters. So, um, and this is a very, this is a darker book. Um, it's about loss and, and just dealing with life, I guess. Um, but it comes off very dark. There's not too many light mo moments, but despite that, it is a good read. I think I'm really glad I read it. I already ordered the next three books. So, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm okay with it. It just, um, uh, it did feel very dark at, at times, but then again, I mean, we all deal with loss and everything. Um, one thing, um, I always say that with the Star Trek Voyager books, I wouldn't recommend them to anybody else unless they watch Star Trek Voyager, um, because it wouldn't make sense and they probably would enjoy it, that sort of thing. But this, I would, like if I knew somebody that would wanted to get a hold of, um, a book that's just written differently, um, that's a bit more interesting. I would recommend this if somebody's going through a loss of some time of some kind I would recommend this um, now I'm afraid that I will um, Spoil if I talk too much about this because there's so many interesting parts that are further down the line um, But anyways, I would give it um, a read um, but then again one other thing I knew about this book going in is kind of the future books because this one that came out in 2009 and it's 2015 almost 2016 and so I heard a little bit about other books so I knew that um, in this one I didn't have to worry too much about certain things okay so that is my review let me know if you have any questions and hopefully I can get back to other reviews because I've read like 10 other books and I've only this is only like my third one I've re reviewed third or fourth one okay thank you so much